hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project online shoe store it's not online it's a shoe store management system and uh, i have developed this project in java spring boot angular and database i'm using mysql on the spring boot site i'm using jpa hypernet and uh, for connecting mysql uh, we are using uh, jpa also mysql driver is there for connecting mysql database for id part i'm using sts spring boot tool suits tomcat version 7 we are using so this is for the backend side for front-end development we have used angular version 7 and uh, html css and some of the angular library for designing the ui so also for id we are using visual studio code for id uh, for angular development so this all uh, technology stacks we are using for developing this project to store management system so let's start with the functionality go through what's uh, modules are available what the features are available inside this project right so once you run this project you will get this home page so this is a login page and it has only and only admin login there is no customer login there is no customer operations so admin can perform all of the operations right so user id is admin that is it is email.com and password is test once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard so you can see there are a lot of menu options here right so you can click on that options for going on that page right so these options are available here also on the right side sorry left side bar so let me go through one by one so this is the start cell here you can start your cell suppose if you have a kiosk then you can start your cell from here right so the first one name is virtual kishore and you can enter the name in mobile number here so once you click on the start cell you can see the details has been rendered right so order id order date all of things are here you need to select the product here and enter the quantity here so once you click on that to cart you can see the item has added into the cart the formal shows right one so the item has been added into cart boots one right so you can see item has added it to the cart so total costs are cut, uh, calculating automatically right if you delete any item just hit the delete button that item will be deleted from the cart right so once you complete all of the details just click on the save sales details once you click on the save sales details your order number will be generated it's a 106 and these are the your order id items right so if you want to print the receipt just click on the print receipt the page will be printed from the connected printer so this is the full flow of the sales dashboard see so this is the order report so all of the sales which you have made earlier will be displayed here this is the order history right so this is the last order which we have placed so once you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see all of the details of that order this is a product report and this is all of the products which is available into the system right you can edit and delete the product so you can see this is the product details this is add product section from here you can add any number of products right so this is the product report so if you add if you add any items then that you will be able to see that item or products here this is a company report all of the company which is available right you can add here so this company will come here in this drop down <coughs> right sorry uh, this drop down right so both of the drop downs are dynamic and the data of these drop downs are coming from the database so this is the add company if you want to add more company you can add from here this is a category report all of the category right uh, you can manage from here so this is a crud application create read update and date operations of the category you can add the category from here right so this is a logout once you click on the logout then your all of the session will be destroyed and you will be re redirected to the login page right so you can see you have you have redirected to the login page and once you click on the login again you will be able to see the dashboard right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project and the title is sue store management system and it's a mini project which has only 
and only admin feature there is no customer login here right and as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot angular project and uh, jdk version i am using jdk 1.8 and angular version is 1.7 uh, angular version is 7 and mysql version is 5.6 right so if you need any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much